Good morning, guys. I just had my exercise, and yesterday I went to went for a bicycle ride to see the river, and to my surprise, the river was not. It was not overflowing or even full, but instead it was, uh, I could see a lot of uh, the shoreline, but it might be different from point to point. It is possible that the part where I saw it, the main part where it, the major uh, junction where uh, you can get the river from the cities, maybe in that part the river was dug quite deep and the water flow was spanned much less horizontally. So, yeah, and the road was quite potholed and therefore I chose the pitch road after halfway point, I crossed the village, and yeah, one lucky lady smiled at me, and I was like, oh, I was smiling so much, and I got shy. But yeah, and when I was coming back with the, in the GT road, on the GT road, and I could uh, pedal my cycle to the fullest, and I was getting that perhaps that is called dopamine secretions, and I was. Um, really enjoying it. The thing is, if you do aerobic exercises, you can find that rush, but it will not come in the first 15 to 30 minutes. It will come later than that, and it's really a wonderful feeling, and it also kills stress and other problems, as far as I've heard. And, uh, and yeah, so it was uh, a nice day. And mind you, from Finland also told us that she has a YouTube account. I will check it out. Oh, that was an eventful day. Not too much eventful, but some eventful nonetheless. So let's choose a topic for today. And today's topic can be... Running out of topics. Um, okay, melanin. So melanin is a pigment. Pigment. I saw my face in the camera, and I thought, yeah, let's find out the pigment. So melanin is a pigment that controls the color of the skin and also the color of the hair, as far as I'm aware. And this pigment is secreted in uh, different differing amounts among people. So people who live in a cold climate with a low sun cover have lower, lower amount of melanin in the skin and they appear more white. And people who live in regions where there is more sunlight, they tend to have a darker skin tone. This is said to be an evolutionary adaptation to UV light in the sun, in the, in the sunlight, UV portion of the sunlight. So the thing is, we need a little amount of UV to synthesize vitamin D, which is very important for our body. But if we have too much of this ultraviolet rays, then it can cause skin skin cancer and other sort of diseases. So evolution favored it in such a way that people get the right amount. But although nowadays if people are going from places to places all around the globe, it is a moot point, but that's a melanin. So melanin was a basis of discrimination once in many parts of the world and still is in many parts of the world. But uh, I think we have gone deeper 
in the context of color in this regard. So, yeah, both scientifically and in culturally. So, thank you for listening. I, I was uh, so happy to have you here. And see you tomorrow. And bye-bye.